Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I want to talk about why your roots are turning brown in semi-hydro, specifically in Leica. Now, I know I talk about this all the time, that there is a difference between soil roots and water roots and that, you know, if you don't clean your plant properly, it's going to undergo some root rot, uh, that if you're transitioning your plant from soil to semi-hydro, it's going to go through a transition period and, you know, your leaves are going to all drop and you're going to be sad. And um, I still stand by that. You will be very sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, in this video, I actually want to talk about how to prepare your substrate and how to prepare your plant so that you have success because I find that... In my past experience, some of my plants were just struggling for the longest time, but eventually it made it. It it got there. It's giving me deformed leaves, but <laughs> we're making it happen and things are happening right now. But um, yeah, I wanted to film this video to talk about what I've been doing, how I've been preparing my substrates for my plants, and how I've been preparing my plants for success. So let's get into this video. All right, I feel like this video should be kind of like split into two parts, but I'm gonna do my best and kind of separate them <laughs> as I go. So let's first start with um, converting your plant that is currently in soil to semi-hydro. Um, and the semi-hydro substrates that I will be using today is Leica. Now, let's forget about the Leica because the preparation for that is going to be the same for both plants that are in soil and cuttings. Now, when your plant is currently in soil, like I had mentioned, they're cur they currently have soil roots. And when you're transitioning it to semi-hydro, it needs to develop uh, water roots. And um, how do you do that, right? <laughs> especially if it's like a full grown plant it's very hard and there's a whole lot of heartache and a whole lot of maintenance that goes into this that I don't think a lot of people talk about but um yeah I currently have PTSD and trauma just thinking about it <laughs> but uh but yeah so I digress um when your plant is currently in soil what you want to do is clean you want to clean the roots as best as you can get rid of any debris and clip back anything that looks dead because anything that doesn't look viable is going to just be a trigger for more bacteria and fungus to grow once you put it in um, Leica. And I say that because Leica is using capillary action to wick up water and moisture for the plant. So that's like a whole breeding ground for bacteria growth, right? So my suggestion would be clean your plant as best as you can, get rid of all the debris, all the soil, and then just kind of like cut everything back if it's dead and like just kind of soak it in hydrogen peroxide and then put it in semi-hydro. Now here's the part where it's like, holy crap, that's a whole lot of maintenance because <laughs> it is. Um, I would suggest that every week what you should be doing is actually removing your plant out of the semi-hydro container and just you know, removing the rotting roots because it's going to happen. Your, your roots are going to just start to, to rot and it's going to eventually develop uh, water roots. And the reason why I say to do this on a weekly basis is because you want to catch it before it starts to infect the, uh, the clay balls. So what I had done when I was starting my journey uh, for one of my plants, I can't remember which one it was, but um, I ended up having to flush and actually dumping it out of the container itself and then just like removing all the uh, the soil roots. And then I kept doing that and then putting it in hydrogen peroxide to make sure that it was clean and then putting it back in. And then finally the transition was fine like <laughs> three months later. But um, yeah, it was intense. And I believe during that time I was using regular tap water to rinse but then I would fill it with distilled water. And I was weekly fertilizing it as well because that's what I was doing. I didn't know if that was the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. Looking back on it now, I feel like maybe weekly fertilizing it was kind of a waste because it didn't develop any roots. It, it, it was going through like a phase and 
yeah there's lots of things that i would change <laughs> especially when it was semi-hydro but um that plant i yeah I, I cannot remember what plant that was but i do remember doing it for my alocasia my uh silver silver dragon um that one was originally in soil and i was trying to transition it over to semi-hydro and oh my god i think like within that first week all the roots just like disintegrated and i was like what is happening and if you've ever seen um alocasia's roots they are so fine and there's a lot of them so it was like just yeah it wasn't good but eventually it started to um acclimate like three months later but there was a whole lot of flushing that i had to do so what i would actually recommend um is if you are transitioning your plant from soil to semi-hydro get one of those um net <laughs> orchid uh containers or hold on i'll be right back all right, so this is what I wanted to show you. Now, this is a self-watering planter. You guys have seen this on my channel before. This is great to use, especially once your plant has already fully transitioned its roots from soil to water roots. Um, and the reason why this is great is because you can literally just take it out of here and then just rinse the, the plant itself to ensure that there's no mineral buildup on the lica and to just ensure that like, you know you're flushing it uh on a weekly basis um but yeah so self-watering planters are great for semi-hydro um but yeah i think that's all the advice that i would give to somebody who is transitioning their plant from soil to semi-hydro for the first time um the recap would be it's a whole lot of maintenance you got to keep up with it uh you gotta <laughs> Be very patient because it's gonna shock you like it, it really will because you know if your plant is like losing its soil roots at a very uh, fast pace like it's essentially dying and you know your leaves are going to drop it's gonna turn yellow and you're gonna full-on panic I mean currently having trauma right now <laughs> thinking about it because I had this one ethereum it was huge and it just all the leaves just dropped so now it's a stump but it's growing now so it's fine um but uh but yeah um what i would suggest is if you want to put your plants in semi-hydro start with the cutting so for example this hoya right here i received this hoya as a cutting it was a three leaf cutting and it's grown quite a bit especially for a plant that i didn't really care for and hardly ever <laughs> fertilize i feel like um once i start giving it the love that it needs it's going to just grow like very quickly and i'm gonna actually do that today i'm gonna be transitioning this little <laughs> dinky container into a bigger um a bigger vessel but yeah start with the cutting um because or let me rephrase start with a cutting that was in water so for example these two philodendrons right here i have myself a beaut philodendron florida beauty and you know it's doing its thing <laughs> um these are all water roots look at that the water roots just look so different in comparison to soil roots i find that soil roots are very fuzzy and they're just more robust but yeah, this is my philodendron Florida Beauty, and I've been growing it in just regular old water for probably a year now, and it's just been like deeply neglected. But today's a day where it's going to be put in um, Leica, and this is my Soderoy that has also been very neglected, and it's finally put off some new leaves for me. <laughs> but um, but yeah. I would suggest that if you wanted to convert your plants, start with the cutting, put it in water because then it already has water roots and then put it in your Leica and it, it'll be fine. So I'll show you how to do that today. Um, yes. What's also very important is actually your substrate itself. Now, your Leica is very dusty. It's very dirty. You 100% need to rinse it but my suggestion to you would be to soak it in water overnight and then you know dump it and then soak it again 
and then rinse it until it runs clear. Um, and I say that because you really want to start with a very clean environment for your plant because like I said, um, if you are going from soil to semi-hydro, it 100% needs to be clean because otherwise breeding ground for bacteria growth, right? But if you're starting with a cutting, I feel like there's more leeway and you can kind of like get away <laughs> with um, not rinsing it very well, uh, especially in like a very large container like this. So what I think I used to do in the past was I would grab this and just measure out how much Leica I actually needed and would just, you know, wash that. Um, but in today's video, I really needed to have more. So what I did was, like I said, I soaked this overnight and then I dumped the water and then soaked it some more and then rinsed the rest until the um, the debris and whatever was, uh, was gone. So, so yeah, I guess let's get planting so I can show you how I plant it. And um, yeah, I think the reason why I really wanted to film this video was because I did get a few questions with regards to algae. So like this plant right here, there is a lot of algae growth happening. You see that? It's on the bottom. I mean, there's lots of roots growing, but... <laughs> it's also growing in algae and that's not good for the plant because it's just the, the roots aren't able to pick up any of the water and the nutrients that it needs to continue to grow which is probably another reason why this plant is um you know it's growing it's just not growing that fast but but yeah so let's uh save this plant today all right so here is the hoya crimson queen and look at this root ball it's focusing there you go pretty intense it's grown quite a lot and like I said there was some algae buildup and um, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it at this point um, I can soak it in hydrogen peroxide to clean it off but I'm I'm not too concerned it's fine <laughs> it'll be fine so I'm gonna be using this um, vase that I got from the dollar store and I'm just literally gonna plop it in here I'm probably going to remove this leaf just because I need the space and just put her in here like that. So I will go off camera and just pot it up and I'm actually going to be using these acrylic sticks that I got from Amazon to just kind of like hold it up as well. So I'll go off camera and work my magic and I'll be right back all right so here she is all potted up and I'm not gonna lie I really like the way this looks <laughs> it, it really it's it's very cute and um yeah I think in the next six months or so because I'm going to stop neglecting it I think it's gonna put off a lot more leaves so I may need to like upgrade and get like a bigger trellis or start cutting it back but um, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out to be honest with you and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but the Leica that I'm using are the ones from Ikea and I just prefer the um, the clay balls in that bag because there's like a variety of shape and sizes so like you can get things that are like this big and then you can have like little baby itty bitty ones like this and this will get into like the nook and cranny and just like you know fully encompass the um the plant and you know every now and then i feel like i need to give it a good shape um just so that like there's no large air pockets so like right over here i don't know if you can actually see that but Right over here, there is like a an exposed root <laughs> and my OCD is getting the best of me and I feel like I need to kind of like cover that so that the air pocket isn't too much because I'm scared that the, um, the water might get trapped in there and end up with root rot even though like I shouldn't because this is already like all water roots but you just you just never know but i mean i also have ocd so i'm gonna leave it alone now um now how much water should you put in here like i said the leicas were already like soaking overnight so they are filled with water but 
Um, I was very mindful as to how far I had actually planted this Hoya. So it the root ball actually starts right here. So I'm actually going to be filling this up with water to here. And then I will just watch it. And if it needs more water, I will give it more water. But for now, I'm going to treat it like everything else. I'm going to just give it a smidgen of water and then just let it be. Um, but yeah, so just regular water. I am not using distilled water anymore. We're not doing that. It gets way too expensive. <laughs> and um, I added a couple of drops of uh, HB 101. All right, so the next plant that we'll be working on is this Florida Beauty. Now, as you can see, it was a cutting and I had to cut it because it was putting off very variegated leaves that would just kind of like melt off and I was like, I've had enough. So this is the very cute marbled leaf. And as you can see, it has a lot of roots um, and yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pot this guy up. And there's something that I do want to say about, um, uh, what is it, variegated plants. I feel like um, when people are purchasing variegated plants, everyone is like, oh, I need to see what the mother plant looks like. But it's like, why? It doesn't matter what the mother plant looks like because it's a cutting it's going to look different either way. So it doesn't matter if the mother plant was very pretty. What actually matters is the stem. The stem and the whole plant itself. So if the plant itself is already giving you the, um, I'm sorry, it's very loud. If the plant itself is already giving you like variegation, chances are that plant is gonna continue to give you variegation. Um, if you're purchasing like an elbow, look at the stem if the stem itself has like good variegation on it it's going to give you the variegation that you want um but looking at the mother plant isn't going to really show you anything other than the fact that it was a very pretty plant at one point <laughs> because like i said um people clip their plants in order to stimulate variegation or to to stop it from being so variegated so like i said in this case i clipped it because it was putting off um too much variegation and i was like nope not today <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and just finish potting this up for you guys all right so here we are all potted up and i'm not gonna lie i'm really really loving these baby leaves right now there's something about little plants that are just bringing me joy. I feel like I used to be all about like the bigger the plant the better it is but I'm really enjoying the uh the baby the baby plants right now um and watching it grow and seeing its potential and um yeah I'm here for it. All right so here's the last plant that we'll be working with today. This is my Soteroi. It had big beautiful leaves but for some reason during the summer all my plants decided to throw fits so I decided to cut it to save it and then to grow it but then I totally neglected the plant itself so here we are um but yeah I actually really like using Leica um just because it's reusable um once you clean it you can just continue to use it like all the time and it's just I don't know it's just easy to work with it's clean it's not messy, not like ponds. I love using ponds, but like, it's so dusty. No matter how many times you rinse that thing, it's always going to be dusty. <laughs> so it is what it is, I guess. All right, so here it is all potted up and it's so cute. And you know what? I don't know why I stopped using Leica. <laughs> um, I think all the other amendments just kind of like hit social media and I was like, I need to try it. But I forgot how much easier it is to pot things up and how it just kind of like keeps the plant upright without <laughs> bending the plant too much and manipulating it. But yeah, one thing that I do want to mention for these cuttings is that because they were already kind of like hanging out in water originally, 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit more water so that it doesn't shock the plant too much and the roots aren't like, oh my god, where's all the water at? This isn't what I'm used to. So I am going to give it a little bit more water and then just kind of like watch it. And um, I think in the next week and a half is probably when I'll have to uh, top up. But otherwise, I hope this video was helpful. <laughs> um, if I answered your questions, great. If I missed anything, leave um, a comment down below and I will address it as quickly as I can. But, um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.